McLovin, you had a question for Mike? <laughs> Many. It's I'm for, sure. uh, it's for the, well, first of all, okay, so you do the schedule. Now, describe the other 11 months. <laughs> <laughs> they oh. made me ask that. <laughs> they wow. made me ask that. Oh. I, Mike, come on. No problem. Fair enough, fair enough. No, I'm uh, mad because he, he beat my school in soccer, and, you know, I don't know if you read the Philadelphia Daily News story of Mike North leading Pencrest past Lower Marion. That was many, many years ago. But uh, the, the schedule process itself is, is three months, you know, half of January and all of February, March, and most of April. Uh, we'll catch our breath here a little bit. You know, we've got the draft this week in Philly. Truth be told, for the broadcasting department, May and June, pretty quiet. Um, you've probably read and heard about some of the new things we're looking at in terms of game flow and commercial formats and commercial inventory. So there's a lot of work still to be done for next season, getting ready for when are we going to take commercial breaks and why and how long are they going to last, stuff like that. But, um, you know, July, teams go to camp, and we're right back to work. We're meeting with all our network partners, talking about rules changes, policies. Preseason starts in August. Once August hits, that's midseason for us. We're all out of games every weekend. Do you go every week to a game? Yeah, me or somebody like me from the broadcasting department goes to all the nationally televised games as a resource to the broadcaster. You know, if something goes wrong, if there's a question, when was the last time a running back ran for 11 touchdowns in a quarter, or why did the official rule what he ruled, or hey, can we interview this guy, or hey, we meant to go to commercial, but we didn't. Can we go to commercial next time instead? There's uh, a, a group of about eight or nine of us that travel, and we try to hit five or six games every weekend, but the day the regular season ends, we're locked back in that room and thinking about next year's schedule. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.